on this day when we celebrate the deepest expression of love. Who presents Megan to be married to Alex? Mother and I. John Muir once said about Yosemite <clears throat> that it is structured as if into this one mountain mansion, nature had gathered her choicest treasures to draw her lovers into close and confiding communion. And that's what we're here today to celebrate. <clears throat> a wedding is a time for sharing with family and friends, the joyfulness of a new phase of a relationship between two people, today these two people. As we prepare to do that, we also pause to remember those who are strongly here with us in spirit. With them in mind, I would like to share with you a wedding prayer by Robert Louis Stevenson. Let us pray. Lord, behold our family here assembled. We thank you for this place in which we dwell, for the love that unites us, for the peace accorded us this day, for the hope with which we expect the morrow, for the health, the work, the food, and the bright skies that make our lives delightful, for our friends in all parts of the earth. Amen. Well, everybody, Megan and Alex have invited us here today to this beautiful place to celebrate the joy of their wedding. And all of us wish many things for the two of you. We wish you a love that continues to make both of you beautiful people that gives you a joy and a zest for living, and that provides you with energy to face all of life's adversities and to deeply enjoy its pleasures. So we come together here to celebrate and to record in our hearts and our minds the wonder of a love that has blossomed in our midst. We gather also to mark the reality that marriage isn't always easy and that along with the tenderness and the newness and the joy, marriage also needs perseverance and understanding and lots and lots of love. Love is an ongoing act of creation. Like the sunrise or the sunset, it must be renewed every day. To put it another way, love can grow and flourish only when it is cultivated and nurtured over and over again. But when love blooms, as it surely does here today, it reflects the deepest and the most <clears throat> tender secrets of the universe. Perhaps the Apostle Paul said it best when he wrote these words, love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it is not rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angry, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, 
but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. And now faith, hope, and love abide. But the greatest of these is love. Alex, Megan, it's our hope for you that you will keep your love alive. That you will grow and change and maintain the capacity for wonder and spontaneity and always humor. That you'll remain patient and warm and sensitive. It's our hope that you will give fully to one another no matter what demands are made upon your time. We hope that you will see the meaning of life through the ever-changing lens of your love that you will nurture each other to wholeness and to fullness, and in learning to love each other more deeply, that you will learn to love the creation in which the mystery of your love has happened. And now as a gift to the bride and groom, Alex's Aunt Debbie will share a reading with us. This is, uh, oh well, I just lost Andy, sorry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Blessing for a Marriage by James Freeman. May your marriage bring you all the exquisite excitement that marriage should bring. And may life grant you also patience, tolerance, and understanding. May you always need one another, not so much to fill your emptiness as to help you to know your fullness. A mountain needs a valley to be complete. The valley does not make the mountain less, but more. And the valley is more a valley because it has a mountain towering over it. May you need one another, but not out of weakness. May you want one another, but not out of lack. May you look for things to praise, often say, I love you, and take no notice of small faults. If you have quarrels that push you apart, may both of you hope to have good sense enough to take the first step back. May you have happiness, and may you find it making one another happy. May you have love, and may you find it loving one another. Thank you, Deborah. Megan and Alex, do you find within you a love that has fused your lives together? We do. <laughs> it's always fun being in the out of doors. <laughs> Do you find within your love the courage to meet the challenges that may confront your relationship? Do you then affirm your devotion to each other and your willingness to love one another into unique fullness, taking the risks and assuming the vulnerability of love again and again? At this point, I'd like to invite Alex and Megan's parents to come forward and to have the mothers retrieve the vases for the sand ceremony, if you will. You've heard Megan and Alex just say that they are ready to be married. Are you now ready to bless and support that marriage, their marriage, in every way possible? In these vases of sand that the mothers are holding, we have the representation of the two families joining now officially 
as one through Megan and Alex. Megan's parents, Kim and Tim, have Sam from Charleston, South Carolina. And Alex's parents, Linda and Greg, have Sam from Stevensville, Michigan, where Alex and Megan grew up and met. Alex and Megan, your mothers now will pour the sand from each of these places, mingling them and mingling your family, creating in the process a beautiful new family. Megan and Alex, your lives are now joined in the most sacred and joyous of meetings. We pray that your life will be blessed. In the immortal words of the poet William Blake, together may you see the world in a grain of sand, and heaven in a wild flower. Hold infinity in the palm of your hand, and eternity in an hour. And now sensing the power of love that is here in this moment, the wonder, the beauty, the miracle of how it has come into being, I would like to invite all of us as family and friends to pledge our support together to Alex and Megan by joining in saying, we bless your marriage with our love. We bless your marriage with our love. And now as a second gift of reading, Megan and Alex's friend Melissa will share with us. Friendship by Judy Bilicki. It is often said that it is love that makes the world go round. However, without doubt, it is friendship which keeps our spinning existence on an even keel. True friendship provides so many of the essentials for a happy life. It is the foundation on which to build an enduring relationship. It is the mortar which bonds us together in harmony, and it is the calm, warm protection we sometimes need when the world outside seems so cold and chaotic. True friendship holds a mirror to our fables and our failings without destroying our sense of worthiness. True friendship nurtures our hopes, supports us in our disappointments, and encourages us to grow in our best potential. Megan and Alex came together as friends. Today, they pledge to each other not only their love, but also the strength, warmth, and most importantly, the fun of true friendship. Thank you, Alex, Megan, when I look in your eyes today, I can see the reality of the love that we're here to celebrate. <clears throat> Poets can write sonnets about it. Musicians can compose ballads about it. Ministers can even preach sermons about it. But when all is said and done, love comes into being only when it is lived out day by passing day. It's my special hope for the two of you that in the years that lie ahead, you'll remember this moment and take a moment out of that day in your life to bring your love alive again through a touch or a glance or a word or some way special just to the two of you. Celebrate your love. Celebrate each other. Cherish your life. Cherish each other every day for the rest of your life together. And now Alex and Megan will exchange their wedding vows. are theirs they have prepared themselves. Hi Alex, it's 
take you, Megan, to be my wife, my faithful partner in life, my constant friend, and my one true love. You are my best friend, and you make life beautiful. I promise to love you without reservation, in plenty and in want, to stand together in our times of joy and sorrow, to always be open and honest with you, and to have and to hold, to love and to cherish forever. <laughs> Hi, Megan. Take you, Alex, to be my husband, my faithful partner in life, my constant friend, and my one true love. You're my best friend, and you make life beautiful. I promise to love you without reservation, in one and in one, to stand together in our times of joy and sorrow, to always be open and honest with you, to have and to hold and to love and cherish for everyone. vows that Alex and Megan have just exchanged so tenderly and meaningfully are now to be sealed and symbolized by the giving and receiving of rings. <clears throat> These rings are really wonderful symbols of your love for each other. Each of them is a circle of wholeness. Uh -huh. Your rings mark the beginning or the continuation of a long journey together. A journey that will be filled with wonder and surprises, with laughter and with tears, with grief as well as with joy. It's a journey that can be filled every day with a celebration of life and of your love for each other. May these rings continue to glow in the reflected light and warmth of that love that flows through each of you for your partner on this, your wedding day. Megan, I give you this ring. Megan, I give you this ring. As a sign of my promise. As a sign of my promise. That wherever you go. That wherever you go. My love is with you. My love is with you. Alex, I give you this ring. Alex, I give you this ring. As a sign of my promise. As a sign of my promise. That wherever you go. That wherever you go. My love is with you. My love is with you. Well, Alex and Megan, the depth of the love that you show for each other has now been shared with all of us here. We urge you to explore that love well. Explore it deeply and reverently. Explore your love with joy and with hope and with courage. May you find delight in each other. And may your love continue to grow and to nurture you always. And now minister in the name of God with a great sense of personal joy and with the warmth and the love of the, all of our hearts. It's a privilege to pronounce you husband and wife, wife and husband, and to bless your marriage with these words from the Apache wedding prayer. Now you will feel no rain, for each of you will be shelter to the other. Now you will feel no cold, for each of you will be warmth to the other. Now there is no loneliness for you. Now there is no more loneliness. Now you are two bodies, but there is one life before you. Go now to your dwelling place to enter into the days of your life together. And may your days be good and long upon this earth. Amen. 
Ha, ha, ha. 